Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie in Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. It is the 12th of June, 2018, and I have a lot to cover, so I'm going to get right to it. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is this Coin to Tokyo website. And, you know, I've been slowly introducing to you some Japanese hiragana, kanji, and katakana phrases, uh, and I'll I'll be sure to put them in the bottom of this comment section again that you can cut and paste and use some of these websites. You know, I Google's of course is one of the sources that you can find the news from Japan, but um if you want to narrow that down into the cryptocurrency space, this Coin Tokyo is a really great website. So, please uh give it a try and you too can be an expert on news in Japan. Okay. I was searching because there's just there's a lot of news. There's more virtual currency exchanges coming to Japan. There's a hundred applications with the FSA in the queue. And today there were three new announcements made, one of which is a company, this company here. Uh Samurai and J Partners. And uh they are, you know, very serious fintech company. They do private equity fund. They are moving in the space. This is the CEO, Kiyoshi Ando. Ando is a young, fast moving guy. And I wanted to see, can I find something that he said in the past about what coins he likes? Because that would maybe give me a clue as to what direction he is going to take his uh, exchange. You know, is he a ripple guy? Is he a a BTC guy is a B BCH guy. So I went into my investigative mode and I was searching, searching, searching. Uh, could not find anything that he has said in the past. Um, there's probably something out there, but I couldn't find it. However, I did find this. This is a tweet that talks about Omise, SBI, which is SBI Holdings, and Omise Japan. And then they go on to tweet that they have, uh, they're speculating here that OMG equals XRP equals uh, real currency. And I thought to myself, what? What is that? I mean, as you know, when we talk about... Um, Payment processing companies, Ripple Labs has, of course, uh, a really great system. And I always think Omise is, is in a way, uh, in direct competition. So how can Omise and XRP and SBI all be tied together? So I thought I need to know a little bit more of what's going on here. Is this just somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about? Or is there really something behind this tweet? I found a press release that will shock you because it shocked me. I just, this is from the Omise Japan website and it is announcing that Omise is going to be the process, uh, payment processor for the 50,000 some convenience stores in Japan. This is huge news. And I thought to myself, how come we're not seeing this coverage? In the West, well, maybe we are, but we haven't seen it come out very strongly. This press release was um, put out on the 29th of May, 2018. But I, I, I'm telling you, I just didn't see it. If you saw it, great. But I don't think it was really out there. I even went to the Omise English website and looked in their press, and there's nothing. Just nothing. So if I look at this um, in general, I did some highlights. I did some. Uh, I, I made sure that my translation wasn't going to throw anybody into a um, into a, a wrong point of view. So it says here that provision of convenience store settlement starts exclamation point expands new payment methods. Uh, on May 29th, Omise is pleased to inform you that the Omise payment and online payment service provided 
by Omise Japan Company has started offering convenience stores payments as a new means of settlement. So overview of the new features, Omise Payments has started offering the convenience stores settlement service in addition to existing credit card settlements. Then the convenience store settlements is a service that allows the user to easily perform cash settlements simply by displaying the barcode at the storefront of the convenience store. I thought, this is just crazy. I just didn't know this. Convenience stores currently supported our Family Mart, Circle K, Sunks, Lawson, Mini Stops, uh, Seiko Mart, and if the convenience store above uh, is not listed, others to follow, it's available 24 hours, 365 days nationwide. Yeah, you know, it was like a wow. Convenience store payments uh, that can be made um, paid at the convenience stores nationwide are used in a wide range of ages, leading to customers acquiring young people and elderly who could not reach uh, by credit card payment alone. So especially effective are extending reach to young people in their teens to 20s who cannot have a credit card and women who are uneasy about using credit cards on the Internet, elderly people and so on. Yeah, so. I thought to myself, this is pretty big news, but how does it tie into SBI Holdings and XRP? Well, back on March, what is the exact date here? March 16th, was it? March, oh, back in July 21st, 2016, there was a Series B, an early state, stage venture fund, uh, that was supplied to Omise of 17.5 million. There were four investors that led uh, this investment. The lead investor was SBI. And SBI Holdings, as you know, is just launching the new Ripple XRP uh, 2 yen pairing site with the VC trade that goes live at the end of this month. So Absolutely, SBI has a financial tie to Omise. And granted, I think SBI really does love Ripple, and I think they love XRP. So is it possible that maybe the XRP token will be one of the methods of payment that are used on the backside with Omise? I I just don't know, you know, so I am only trying to put some pieces of the puzzle together. I don't exactly know if there's going to be a relationship, but one thing is for sure in this space, as it matures, there are going to be more and more and more, just not mergers and acquisitions, but there's going to be more and more partnerships. And those partnerships are going to come in the way of synergy because everybody wins when the space expands. So you just never can say never. And then look at this. This is our good friend, Roger. And Roger Veer, just on the 6th, I believe it is, announced that he's going to bring BCH to tens of thousands of convenience stores in Japan who will now be able to accept cryptocurrency. Wow! Veer is one of the largest proponents of BCH and announced the announcement couldn't come at a better time. The news coincides with the current bull run. I don't know about that, on the cryptocurrency market. Who wrote this? Eric Gibbs, June 6, 2018. I don't know what he's talking about, the current bull run. Veer was in an interview with Corbin Fraser, a developer for Bitcoin.com, when he made the announcement. He stated, I didn't post it or talk about it publicly yet, but we just had a meeting over this week. Bitcoin Cash is coming to tens of thousands of convenience stores in Japan, and you'll be able to buy anything in the entire convenience store with Bitcoin Cash, which means including like paying your electric bill. Yet when you go to a convenience store here, which I'll do a 
video. Don't worry. And I'll take you through it. I think if you have never seen or have never been to Japan, it's going to surprise you. Uh, not only can you get everything from a yummy, yummy bento uh, box of food, but that is in a, jet, a JIT kind of amazing 24 hour uh, system of delivery when it they have the point of sale uh, it's out. There's another truck coming within, God, it seems like, within minutes to fill that empty spot. But you can buy cat food, you can buy alcohol, you can buy magazines, you can buy laundry detergent, you can buy, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> anything. Stationary supplies, um, they have ATMs, they have copy machines, they have a frozen section, uh, they have really good coffee. <laughs> really good coffee and uh, you can get your Amazon deliveries and pick them up there they have many of them have coin lockers uh, that that are used so if you have a place that um, isn't able to leave things at the door you can get your event tickets you can pay for bills there I mean the convenience stores are absolutely amazing here so this is a huge deal for Omise, and I don't think it hit the news on the English websites. And if you can find it, um, and if you knew about it, well, then I guess I'm slow to bring you the news. But it's the first time, and when I checked on the um, sites in English, I couldn't find the uh, post at all. Like I said, I went to the Omise website in English, and there is... Uh, nothing about this particular announcement. All right, another big story today was that Bic Camera is one of the electronic stores that are accepting Bitcoin in Japan. And yeah, that's that's no that's not new news. I guess the news that they talked about was how the country is slowly uh, and is gaining acceptance to have Bitcoin as one of the payment options. Big camera, which I'll actually I'll show you what they look like live when I go to the um, Tokyo blockchain con conference uh, the end of this month. There's a really big flagship store across the way from where the forum is going to hold the conference and I'll take you through so you can kind of see for yourself. Uh, it's merchandised very well. It's bright. It's clean. It's got a ton of um, help so there's somebody to help you on uh, just about every every 10 steps you can run into somebody who can give you a hand uh, service is fantastic and it's popular but there's only 41 of them and the news that we didn't get out was Yamada Denki. Yamada Denki is the go-to store that's a rival to Bic Camera and they have 256 stores nationwide. They announced back in January that they actually take Bitcoin as a payment. And here is the statement here in their announcement. And I don't know, this is really the story in my opinion. It's not so much that Bit Camera is accepting it, but Yamada Denki is taking it. And it says here that Bitcoin Kasai Sabasu. O Sabasu is service. It's Japanese English. O Shiken Donyo Itashimas. So this word right here, Shiken, means like to test, to trial, to experiment. Um, they are, I think, in a phase where they are accepting it as a payment, but maybe they put that in there because they don't want to promise that it's always going to be there as a form of payment. So uh this is actually you know i think more impressive than the big camera story that's out there today and that's yamada denki all right if i go back to the samurai and j partners website i want to show you this great phrase that he has on his landing page our greatest glory is not in never failing but in raising up every time we fail. Isn't that, that so true? And it's very, very Japanese. And I want to explain to you why that's the case. And that is 
about this doll here called Dharma. The Dharma doll is fashioned after the founder of Zen Buddhism and it's weighted at the bottom so when you push him over he comes back up and there is a saying the Dharma doll falls seven times and gets up eight and I think it's very very important to understand that Dharma has a huge role in Japanese culture so Nana Korobi Yaoki. So falls down seven times, get up eight. And I know that you here in the West, you know, when you fall, get yourself back up. And I think that's a great thing to remember to stay focused because we all do fail. And the most important thing is to not give up. When you get a Dharma doll, and you can buy a Dharma doll online you're going to get a doll that has white eyes. You want to put one black eye on the right hand side facing. Then you make your wish. And when your wish is granted, it's like Dharma achieves enlightenment. And you can then put in the other eye. As you see here, it's a little bright. My Dharma does not have its eye put in on the left which means that it's still working on my wish to be granted so please everybody get yourself a Dharma doll so you stay focused and if you do fail it'll remind yourself don't worry just get right back up okay everybody that's all I have for you today sayonara for now take care bye bye